you know I had to do it. Hey, everyone. Let me just make sure everything's working over here. Let's see. Looks like everything's working on YouTube. Let's see if it's working on the OnlyFans. Hey, Balls Deep, can you hear me and see me all right? Now, Balls Deep, if you were in person with me right now at a convention, would you say nice rack to me then? Come on. I kind of think you wouldn't. No one's ever come up to me at a signing and said, hey, nice rack. Good. All right, great. We got OnlyFans going. And then let's see what's going on on Twitter. Okay. I'm just going to queue it all up with all my devices, my many devices. I know. I'm talking to my friends. Hey, Nestor and freaking Callie, what's going on? Let's get some music going. Let's see. I have to use the music that's not licensed. I wish I could be playing all kinds of fun music. We can all sing together, but that's just not the world we live in anymore. Let's put this down just a teensy. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining me in my live stream. Let me just make sure the audio sounds all right. But no. that's just not the world we live in anymore. Great. Um, what? So I know oh yeah all right you guys <laughs> i got my main camera i got twitter here and then i got my only fans my secret society shout out to my secret society and hey everyone in the chat room jonathan balls deep castellar am i saying that right i hope so um alby shahid i hope i'm saying that right See if I miss Dan Dan. Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred Bucks. Nestor. Mike. Emil, uh, Emmanuel. Chimmy, as in Changa. <laughs> I like that. Look at it, it says Chimmy Changa. Oh, I like that. I know. I was just watching Meet the Fockers in um What's his face? Dennis Hoffman's character. He just wants a chimichanga. <laughs> Who doesn't love a chimichanga? I haven't had a good chimmy in a long time. I know that there's vegetarian ones out there, but I think I've yet to have a vegetarian chimmy. But anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh my gosh, I don't have it on the Good Vibrations page. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oops. I think when people write comments on there, they have to go through... Oh yeah, it is all through um, Ray Collins. What's up, shout out, Cyborg, Cyborg, Tyler. Okay, great, I don't even have to go on the Good Vibrations page because it just all shows up right here, all your comments. So I wanna make sure I get all your comments. Can I speak Spanish a little bit? I wish I knew more. Tracy Farmer, hello, hello. Um, here's the thing, Danielle and I were Mexican mostly um we got to wee bit of irish and a little spanish in us as well but um growing up uh my we were really mostly exposed to my mom's side of the family and they the adults all spoke spanish fluently but they didn't teach any of the grandchildren because they wanted to talk about us in front of us which sucks for many reasons one if you have something to say just say it and then two me and my cousins, we don't know Spanish and it would be useful in life, especially here in SoCal, 
to know Spanish. And especially for me, because when I was in my Lucha years, it would have helped me greatly if I was at a Lucha show. And then all of a sudden I started busting out Spanish on the microphone. But it is what it is. Just reading some of the comments. So anyways, um, oh my gosh, when I was laying out all of the photos that I have, I realized I had some photos I haven't put up on the site yet. I'll show those in a little bit. How about that? Do I watch pro wrestling? I don't. I haven't watched pro wrestling. I think the last time I watched pro wrestling was when I was doing um, the independent circa and I would watch it in front of me. As far as watching it on t TV, oh man, I can't even tell you the last time I watched wrestling on TV, unless I'm like at a restaurant or a bar and they have it playing in the background kind of thing. I don't really think that counts though. Hugs and kisses for Mike. Thank you. Oh, David said his family did the same thing. Doesn't it suck, David? I should be able to just bust out Spanish at any given moment. And it pisses me off. Yep, wrestling. All right, let's get in. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to get into some pre-orders. If you haven't um, ordered any photos and you would like to, go to goodvibrationsboutique.com. And there's a link on there. Actually, I'll put the link right here. Oh, wait, can't post comments to same destination. Oh, oh. Just go to goodvibrationsboutique.com and then click on the official, uh, go to shop. And then there's like categories and then you can go to the Shelly Martinez merchandise page. And when you click on it, it'll say pre-orders. But you don't even have to do the pre-order. Just go to the Martinez, Shelly Martinez, um, what you call it, merchandise page. And you can order anything on there. It'll pop up as soon as I get it here on my end. So um, is any male there? Please trample him one time, please. What? What are you talking about? Any man where and trample him? You mean here at the house? It's none of your business if there's a man in the house. And no, I won't trample him if there were. Come on. Again, just like I told the balls fella earlier, balls deep. Would you, if we were at a signing in person to ask me that, like, let's say somebody brought me in and there was a guy that's like, hey, this is the table. I brought Shelly Martinez. Would you say, would you trample him? You wouldn't. I would bet money you wouldn't. And it's just so funny to me that people, when it's a virtual or people are talking in video chats, you guys say things you would never say to me in person. What's my favorite storyline? Asks Danielle Wolf. That's a cute name. Um, as far as what? Like that I've been involved in or I saw that you have a lot of pups. How do wait, I saw that you have a lot of pups? How to you have? Well, I used to have Fred and Ethel Mertz, rest in peace. They were my mini pinchers. Um, I got Ethel actually when I got signed to WWE and I had to move to Kentucky. I got her then because I had Fred for five years before I got signed. And I wanted him to have a wife, especially because I was in training a lot and stuff like that. So I had Ethel for almost 15 years and Fred for almost 20 years, but they sadly both passed. And now we have Minnie the Moocher um, or Minnie the Moochin Chewini on Instagram. You should follow her. And she's going to be five years old in November. How many? Do, oh, I guess I just explained that to you. <laughs> so, yeah. So had to. Ethel passed first. She had diabetes and she was blind, but it was the diabetes that really effed her up. And then we really saw how Fred was a end of life companion to Ethel. So when he got really old, we decided to get Minnie so that he had an end of life partner. Now we just got Minnie. Eventually, I think Minnie needs a little playmate. Oh, my Yorkie. Those are so cute. I don't even know if on Twitter people can say anything. Yeah, make a comment on that on my Twitter. And let me see if it pops up. 
So anyways, we're going to do some signings. We're going to show you guys what we have in the Good Vibrations Boutique store because we don't just have my merchandise. We have so much more. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a good old time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mike. Thanks, Freddie. All right, so let's get into a couple pre-orders I have. Again, if you'd like to order something, go to Good Vibrations Boutique. Just go to my merchandise page from there. Right now, we have 20% off the entire store if you use the discount code FANGS. And that sale ends tomorrow. So here's your chance to order what we got. Because we got stuff. Lots of stuff. And more stuff to come. So bookmark Good Vibrations Boutique. This is my medicated water. Don't mind me. It says that you retweeted. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe if I do a little refresh ski. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything. Hold on, let me go to my mentions. Like, don't retweet it, just put a reply. Let me see if I can see it. I don't see it. Oh. Well, here's the thing. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. And I'm going to say this throughout. So people that join um, while we go on, um, if you're watching on Twitter, I don't think I can hear or hear. I don't think I could see your comments. At least on my end right now, I can't. So if you would like to comment, go ahead and hop on goodvibrationsboutique.com forward slash live or on my YouTube channel, Shelly Martinez channel on YouTube. Oh, yeah, Charlotte Shelly Martinez. I don't even know my channel names. I, and I'll be able to see it then. Um, Danielle Wolf, I saw you in ECW. You are beautiful tarot card. You are beautiful tarot card. Wish you were in Survivor Eight because I was gonna ha you as a women's champion. Oh, you know what's funny about that? Um, is uh, I got scanned to do like to be in the video game and then I ended up getting fired and then apparently there's a me on some WWE game and they never paid me anything for that and that pisses me off anyway let's get to the uh, autographs so first up we have one of my secret society members Dan and Dan wants number of Number nine. Number nine. <gasps> so we got this. I did this shoot a couple months ago. And let's see here. He wants it signed with a kiss. I do offer kiss prints. Was there any other wrestler that they almost put you with in WWE? I heard from a couple of different people That, you know, when they do those trades, like after WrestleMania, I think sometimes they'll do a trade. Or, I forget what, but when they trade people around on rosters, there was a couple of different people told me that I was going to get put with, Ed, with Edge. I don't know how true that is, but we'll see. So here goes your kiss, Dan the man. And let's see, what color shall I use? I guess I'll use black. That's probably the best. And Dan wants me to put do not or do not fear the reaper. And I like that. And 
And I like that because I have a death anxiety. So, <laughs> so yeah, dude. Donut, feel, fear the reaper. All right, Dan the man, there you go. And now we have another Dan and we're going with number four on that one. Another donut one. Why was Shelly's foot club closed? Because foot fetish people are cheap and they always want something for nothing. And it wasn't making me money. People were just trying to get free stuff and that's not what I'm about. Time is money, my friends. This is another kiss print. If you're watching other Dan. I should probably kiss it afterwards because now I don't want to smear the kiss with me writing. Hold on. To Dan, a real fantastic supporter. And I'm always sending you positive vibes. Sadly, I don't have my fangs today because I done lost them. <laughs> Fang problems. I will never get that foot fetish stuff. Me either. But I was like, hey, I'll try it out. You know, we'll see. And it didn't work out for me. It's because people were super, 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 super cheap about it. And then they would try to shame me like, oh, well, I paid such and such for this. Well, okay, go to pay that person that. And then another thing I realized is a lot of these people wanted me to talk down to them. And that doesn't make me feel comfortable. That's not positive vibes. Dan, Dan, you think that one was yours? Are you Dan? I think it was W, Dan, Dan. I have two Dans, Dan the man and then Dan, Dan. Would you ever do a Comic-Con appearance? Maybe, maybe. I don't do wrestling conventions anymore, but um, if it was worth my while, look at this piece of hair keeps driving me nuts because it's the bogus haircut I have. Um, Dan W. Okay, yay, Dan, that is you. Um, but I'm open if like it's worth my while to do horror conventions or comic cons because those are so much fun. I love them so much. I'm just done. When I retired, I retired in 2017 from wrestling shows and performing. And then oh, was it 2019, 18 or 19? I can't remember. Uh, WrestleCade was my last um, autograph signing for wrestling. Thank you, Amaziah. All right, next we have Chris. He has a few. So number 26. Um, 18. And five. Oh, cool. Dan dancing him at Carmen Electra at a horror con. All right. This one is for Chris. And all of these are just signed. Oh. No. Oh. 
My pen. Look at how ugly. Let me see. There's, I don't know. No, it's already dry. Well, now I have another test. Yeah. Let me make sure this time. Why isn't this pen raining well? I have another white one. Let me see if this one works better. My summer has been... Eh, it's all right, I guess. There we go. Um, hot. Very hot. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. With this, got this one. Oh, hold on. Let me sign them all first. And then we got... Oh, man, I hate when people don't write if they want me to put Shelly or Ariel or Selena. What should I do here? I'll just put Shelly, I guess. And then the... Oh, that was... Oh, look it. I don't know. Kind of goes though. It kind of it does artistic. So here we go with this. That's why I didn't know if they wanted Salinas or not. But I'll definitely put this one as Ariel. All right. So there's that. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so going back to, oh, Danielle, your birthday was two months ago. Happy late birthday. Congratulations, Dan Dan, on your summer job. And Mike, a lot of things are ugly. <laughs> Sadly in life, there's a lot of ugliness out there. But I say, bring on the ugliness. Hey, Tom, welcome, welcome. The Ouija is real. I don't mess with Ouija. I'm not into that. I'm not into the occult stuff at all. Zero. Zero. When I did the tarot card thing, it was literally because that was my character at the time. I am not into tarot cards. I love God. That's my vibes. But my summer has been rough because um, back in May, I started having a lot of really uh, gnarly health issues that I'm still trying to get right. So this summer, has been the heat has been hitting me harder than normal. Big time Bri in the house. All right, next we have Darren. And that is number 24. This oldie but a goodie. <laughs> See, it looks nice when it's acting right. Why? Did I put Ariel or Shelly? I don't know. See? Darren, are you in the chat room? I don't think he is. I don't know if I should put Ariel or Shelly. Have you ever watched your old segment? Um, Here and there. Here and there. I'll just put Ariel. Um, it's interesting because when I was in WWE and in TNA, I never watched my segments or anything. Not because I had anything against it. It was just kind of like, I'm really into theater. I love performing in front of a live audience, hence wrestling. 
So when I would do a performance, whether it was just coming out or wrestling, I would really look at it as, okay, now what's the next gig? Like, what's the next match? What's the next thing I'm a part of? I kind of like one and done. And so it wasn't until many, 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 many years after my WWE departure that I watched a couple of things because people would send me some like clips or whatever. And it tripped me out because when I was living in the moment and performing, I was just playing my character, whether it was Ariel or Selena, Salinas. And um, I was just doing my job. And so when I watched it back, I was like, damn, I really did a good job, huh? No wonder why people love those characters so much, especially my Ariel character and how people think I am or whatever. And then it made sense because I've talked about this many times, but years after I got fired from wrestling is when I started to find out what people like my peers and coworkers were saying behind my back. And it made sense why some people had like a weirdness towards me because they were seeing how I was performing on camera. But to me, I was just doing my job. Like that's what I do. And so I was like, Oh, now I get it. So it was a real trip to revisit those moments. That's for sure. Oh, sorry to hear that, Dan. Hi, Gustavo. Um, so yeah, we got some more pre-orders here, but I just want to make sure to get all your, your into vampires. You don't know why. Me too. Ever since I saw the Lost Boys when I was a young Shelly, when I was a wee vampire, um, that's when I became obsessed with vampires because going back to the beginning of the stream, I have a death anxiety, meaning like death freaks me out. So, and that's always been that way because Danielle, my sister and I, we've been exposed to death at a really young age. And um, to me, I was like, whoa, vampires never die. And that's the beginning of me being obsessed with vampires. And it was cool because I got to be in WWE, which was my dream job. And I got to play a vampire. So it's like, I got so blessed with what I was able to do over there. What is my favorite memory from 2003? Oh my God. 2003 2003 I was doing lucha shows just lucha there was a time where I just did lucha with shout out WPW um you know what's cool about that though when I was doing lucha and I was training with WPW I got really awesome training there um maybe you guys know people like little cholo for example um I trained with him over there so many awesome people but I'll never forget we used to train in Anaheim and there was a day where like in the ring was outside it started pouring down rain like hard but it didn't stop us. We still kept training and we were taking bumps on in that ring and it was like soaking wet. So it hurt a lot, but it was like a no brainer. We're like, we're here for training. Like we're not going to let the rain stop us. So we just continued on training. And not too long ago, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, people can have whatever opinion they want of me. I don't really care because people who have trained with me know how I feel about the business and how serious I took it and how dedicated I was. And I know that a lot of people aren't familiar with my wrestling because they saw me mostly as Ariel or Selena's and in WWE and TNA, they didn't really have me wrestle that much. So I get it when people want to have their opinion, whatever, that's fine. But it's times like that, like those dudes and some of those dudes I still keep in touch with, they know. And that's what matters to me because that's just what's up. Hi, Johnny. Um, did something happen there, Mike, in 2003? Dan Dan says he was in grade school in 2003. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old vampire. 
this hair over here. I did my hair quickly. I ended up sleeping in today. Micro phonogris. <laughs> House of a Thousand Corpses or First Leatherface. House of a Thousand Corpses. All right, let's get into another one. We have Dwight here. And number four. Just signed. Here's the thing about good old Dwight. He put his order in on a Monday. No, excuse me. He put his order in, I think, over the weekend one day, or one weekend. And then on a Monday, he wrote me an email and was like, hey, when's this photo going to come out? And he wrote me an email like later in the day. So I got back to him on Tuesday morning. And I was like, oh, you know, the signing's on the 28th, so they'll go out the next day. So if any of you are wondering when your photos that pre-ordered, or if you order today, just go to goodvibrationsboutique.com. Um, they're going to go out tomorrow. And I didn't hear back from him, so I figured, okay, that's cool. And so Monday he emailed me. Tuesday I wrote him back. On Wednesday, he filed a thing on PayPal against me saying that he hasn't heard back from me, blah, blah, blah. And it became this whole thing. So do I, I don't understand. It sucks, but there's your photo. It's going to go out tomorrow. And I'm grateful that this week, my PayPal will be back to normal because you put some weird flag on me. Anyway, age is just a number. Sometimes memories of pro wrestling syndicate. I had such a good time over there. I trained there a couple times. Um, everyone there was really, really cool. Uh, the shows were awesome, whether it was PWS or their lady show, The Blow. I had a great time. Um, yeah, that was a really, really good time. Um, over there at PW my PWS days, even though it wasn't so long. But yeah, I had a good time, had some good matches. Uh, one of my most rememberable matches is against Serena Deeb. And it was at their female, the blow show that they had. And if some of you guys remember, quite a few years ago, she had a head injury and she didn't know she was going to wrestle again. Well, when I wrestled her at that show, she was like coming back to wrestling. And she was like let's go old school rip rogers kind of match i was like all right yes let's do that and so we came up with this spot and we only told the referee and we were going to play up the angle of her head being hurt so we planned in the match a misdirection spot to where it looked like there was a mess up and that she was injured and i just remember the room was so quiet because they were like, oh, and she was just like going, oh my God, I hit my head, my head. And then they carried her out. And then of course, everyone's clapping that they carried her out. And then I'm like all concerned. And then I turned my back and I was like, oh, and then she jumped out of their arms and hit me. And everyone was like, oh, and Pat Buck was the one of the owners of um, PWS and Blow. And I just remember seeing his face. He was like, oh, and after the match was over, they told us they had to cancel the ambulance coming for her. That's how you work it, brother, sister. Who sounds problematic? Oh, the Dwight. Here's the thing. I totally get wanting to know if you're spending your money. When you're going to get what you paid for totally get that but dude i replied to him the very next day and then he argued with me on paypal he was like but i didn't hear from you and i'm like dude and i sent screenshots on there i was like look at the timeline look at the screenshots and then the worst part is is he never even wrote back like he didn't say oh sorry my bad i didn't see it or i didn't pay attention or maybe it was in his spam folder i don't know but never said nothing didn't take the um, dispute off my PayPal account. 
<sighs> Thanks, balls deep. Uh, thoughts on Sunny? I don't know her that well. She's always been nice to me. But this whole drinking and driving so many times and getting busted and now someone's dead because of it. I just have no respect. No respect at all. Can we send custom photos in the future like fan art? You mean like send it to me for me to sign and send it back to you? Is that what you mean, Micro? I find you on Twitter. Oh, cool, Danielle. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Hey, Drew. I forgot about OnlyFans. Yes, I do see you. Drew is the do. Drew is the do. Drew is the do. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I was over here so concerned with the um, YouTubes. My apologies. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm ready. Are you ready to get jealous? Like really, really jealous? I have three exclusive prints that are not on Good Vibrations Boutique because they are only available to Secret Society members. 17, 16, 15. Like this. This. And this. So if you're a Secret Society member and you're watching this, or if you're on OnlyFans, the Secret Society OnlyFans and you're watching this, and you'd like to order one of these three, let me know and I'll send it out to you. My vampire layer downtown LA, I miss that spot. Let's put these on the side for now. The vibrant colors, yes. Well, I'm going to go take a little tinkle break. And while I do that, Danielle has some um, things to show you. BRB. Ew, I'm all sweaty on my chair. <laughs> Hello, and... Oh, no, it's afternoon now. Tuck these ears back. I don't know why, but when I wear a headband, I'm like, let's just tuck the ears. But hi, you guys. Happy Sunday fun day. Thank you for joining us here today for, I feel like this is online shopping, um, taken up a notch, you know, with the signing and everything. Um, so Good Vibrations Boutique is something that Shelly and I are really passionate about and is growing and Shelly's prints are a big part of it. We also have some other items in there too that are just, you know, anything from like fashion to apparel to music. It's just growing and we have a little bit of everything and i'm just letting you guys know i'm gonna go over a few things it's gonna be very exciting i don't know if you tell i'm excited and one of them is this t-shirt i have here oh oh everything's backwards you have to yes vampire girl t-shirt some call it pink some call it magenta it's bright and it's awesome and i think it goes really good with the green like it really pops people who don't even know like what the story is behind this shirt and Shelly and being a vampire and everything. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it. And we also have um, a black t-shirt version. If you're not down with the bright colors, I think, you know, guy or girl, you can rock it, do it. Okay, um, I don't know if you want to, if you're a guy, rock the vampire girl shirt, but hey, if you want to, that's up to you. But we do have vampire girl and vampire guy shirts. Um, so we have options for everybody. So here's the vampire girl and here is the vampire Gross. guy. Oh, oh, no. Shh. Another girl, but in a different size. <laughs> All right. And here's the guy, vampire guy. And wouldn't it be so cute if like you and your significant other went out matching vampire girl, and vampire guy, or guy guy girl girl whatever you know but anyways very cute these t-shirts are on good vibrations boutique um they're really comfortable and honestly i've spilled on it and it washes really nicely so 
That's just one of the many awesome items that we have in Good Vibrations Boutique. Um, we are having a sale for today, a 20% off everything in the store with discount code FANGS. The sale ends tomorrow, so definitely take advantage of it while you guys can. Let's see here. Oh, thank you, strawberry soda. Ooh, strawberry soda. That sounds nice. All right, just looking at the comments. Yeah, it is a beautiful design, right? It's really well done. And sometimes, you know, people like to wear more fun, spooky things when Halloween's right around the corner. Literally, I know September is going to fly by and October is a great time to wear this or all year round. I've been wearing this all summer. Yes, Dan, Dan, get your vampire guy tea. Awesome. And I have encouraged people in the past, if you're comfortable with it, um, when you get your vampire girl or guy shirt, if you want to tag us on Good Vibrations Boutique and we'll totally give you a shout out, repost you on our story. Yay. Awesome. But yeah, you guys definitely don't forget to get your shirts today though, while you get that 20% off. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, I think this is a good time to take a shot. Oh, okay. Cheers. This is always my go-to right here. Yep. Because I am Dorothy. And good old classic Bates Motel. I have a tendency to date Norman Bates of the world, and I love the movie. So cheers. Happy Sunday fun day. All right. I will get these shirts back to their homes. All righty. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is a little movie called One Crazy Summer with John Cusack, a young John Cusack, Bobcat Goldwith, Curtis Armstrong, uh, Demi Moore. It's a really freaking good movie. It's stupid. It's funny. It's ridiculous. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. So being that that's my favorite movie and it's from the 80s. And I have loved that movie since I was a little girl. I was doing, uh, I think it was a Comic Con kind of um, convention. It was either Comic Con or horror. No, it was comic. It was it wasn't the Comic Con, but it was like a Comic Con themed uh, convention. And the dad that's in One Crazy Summer, he's that actor, Mark Metcalf, who is maestro on Seinfeld, or he was in the Twisted Sister uh, music videos back in the day. And um, he's just such a jerk in One Crazy Summer. And he has a line in One Crazy Summer that says, the only way to win, Theodore, is to cheat. Remember that. And somebody that I was with at my table, they're like, Oh my gosh, Shelly, the dad from one crazy summer is here. Cause they knew I love that movie. And I was like, what I ran and I had, because it was around Halloween time. So I was like, okay, what would a vampire wear for Halloween? Right. I was like, well, does a nurse cause she wants blood. So I had a sexy nurse's outfit on and a really high, high platform boots. I was running over to his table and I went right up to Mark Metcalf and I said, the only way to win Theodore is to cheat. Remember that. And he was just like, didn't know what to do with me. And he assigned that photo for me. I got to find it and hang it up. But um, that was a highlight. Um, have you ever had anybody stand outside your house like John Cusack with a boom? No, not with a boombox, but definitely I've had some creepers who shouldn't have been outside a time or two. Um, total Dracula or any vampires Danielle's into? Um, just wanted to throw my question out there because I think you forgot. Can we send you fan art? I did ask you. I mean, answer. I said, you mean for me to sign or you just want to send me fan art? Uh, Breakfast Club. I used to love the Breakfast Club, but sadly, I had a falling out with one of the actors in that movie. A big falling out. And so it any movie that guy's in ruins it for me. 
He was in that movie. He was in Edward Scissorhands. <sighs> Ruined it for being assigned. Yes. If you go to Good Vibrations Boutique, you'll see that there's a, uh, if you see the thumbnail that is of my doll, my WWE doll, that says um, sign your personal item. And if you click on that, it'll give you the information of what you need to do for me to sign your personal item. It gives you my PO box number, how much it costs. So it's on there. TV show. Oh my gosh. I have so many favorite TV shows. I guess I'll just go ahead and list off the ones I watch weekly that are, they're all old shows. Um, I love Three's Company. Of course, I love I love Lucy, even though I look at it differently sometimes. Um, Big Bang Theory, The Office, King of the Hill, Futurama. Even though I don't watch it as often anymore, um, Two Broke Girls, I like that show. Friends, huh? Oh, and then every morning, Monday through Friday, you probably see me tweet if you follow me on Twitter. I watch a show called Tune In With Me. Um, I also watch Svengoolie every Saturday. If not on Saturday, we DVR it. Like last night, we missed it. We'll watch it tonight. So I watch Svengoolie. Um, Young Sheldon. I like Young Sheldon a lot. Uh, Sex in the City. I already said friends. I do like, even though I've been taking a break because I used to watch it a lot. Uh, Roseanne, Golden Girls, Frasier. Danielle really likes Frasier though. Um, I've been taking a break off of Cheers. Sam Malone just gets on my nerves. So it gets me mad. <laughs> the Simpsons. Oh my gosh, how can I forget about the Simpsons? We have so much Simpsons stuff at the house. So that's, that's uh, to name a few. You know, I like Charlie. Oh, Batman. Adam West Batman. Um, Charlie's Angels is really good. I just don't really watch it as much. Random question. Which diva do you think had the best back when you were in WWE? The best back? Like, their back? Is that what you mean? Mamie Vice, I never really got into that. Yeah, I said Seinfeld, didn't I? I thought I did. If not, yes, yeah, Seinfeld. Oh, I think Drew is a do left on OnlyFans because he said you're not seeing my comments. Damn it. Sorry, Drew, in advance if you watch the replay. All right, let's get into more. We have Brendan. Brendan, what's number 26? Just signed. My problem with these paint pens is I press really hard when I write. I'm just going to go like this because I don't want it to drip. When it came out, it went drip, drip, drip. No, that's not, that's what's in there. The one that from before was just right here. That's what I'm saying. It worked. Best diva are you and Jillian Hall. I love Jillian. What? Oh. Tune in is Fingouli. I love horror was the reason why I got into Hammer Horror 8 films. What's Hammer Horror 8 films? I never heard of that. Balls deep, you're into Fingouli? I meant body. <sighs> I'm not going to sit here and say who had the best body. All the girls had different looks, different shapes. So it just depends on what you like. I think they were all beautiful. So there. All right. Next we have Jason. Number 18. Another just signed. And I, I, I don't know if he wants Shelly or Selena. So I guess I'll just put Shelly. Oddly, I don't get asked often about doing Selena's the name. Ariel, yes. Hey, 
Hey, Keely, how is it going yourself? All right. Okay, so number 10 and number 18 for Jeremy. Phantom of the Opera, yes. Danielle's huge into Phantom of the Opera. All right. This is a very recent photo that I took, a photo shoot I took. Oh, look, you can see the screen on there. It's so glossy. I appreciate that, Fred Bucks. All right. This is a kiss one. Let me reapply. Sealed with a kiss. You should sub subscribe, Dan. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to sign them first then. Dang it. That one came out real nice. And then he has two of them here. And then this one's just signed. Let's change the music up. We've had this one going for a bit. How about Into Space? Let's go into space, guys and gals. All right, and a couple prints that I didn't have listed on the site, which I totally forgot I had. I did a signing and they let me have some leftovers last year. Is this old school aerial one from WWE? Of course, my infamous um, upside down, which I invented. Thank you very much. And then this cool shot of when I was Selena's. A little action kind of. Looks like I'm talking. Looks like I'm going, hey, how's it going, guys? I think Phantom of the Opera made in 1962 is that awesome one. And just so you guys know, once again, only to my Secret Society members, I have this photo, this photo, and this photo. Thanks, Hannah Banana. I like your name. Thanks, uh, Big Time. Big Time, you're Superman, right? All right. I think before I move on, we're going to have Danielle pop in here again and share some more awesome stuff that we got going on at Good Vibrations Boutique. Hello again, you guys. Um, if you follow Good Vibrations Boutique on Instagram, I have been posting a lot of what we're doing here today and just some cute, fun stuff. I'm gonna do a little post of me going over a few things. Add it to Shelly's electronic collection here. Just pop it right here. You want me to do it for you? Yeah. Thank you, I, I like the little hearts. <laughs> I'm a big heart girl. I love anything that has hearts. All right, you guys, I don't even know where to start. I think um, let's start with a little reefer madness. That's always a good place to start. So we also have DVDs. Um, so again, we have apparel, we have Shelly's, uh, prints, and we have DVDs. Um, this reefer madness, the classic, 
we offer it there in the store. Again, everything is 20% off today, only for today. And then let's get into some music. We are big music people here. I'm just gonna put this box here on this chair. I didn't plan this out really well, but it's okay. All right, let's see what we have here. So I don't know if you guys are into uh, records. We definitely are. It's just a charming thing. Music just sounds different on a record player. It just feels so good to be like, hey, let's have some drinks. Let's put some records on. We are all about that at Good Vibrations Boutique. And we have a few you can select from. Um, the first one I'm pulling out, Christmas is just around the corner. Watch. Before you know it, it's going to be Christmas. And we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's a fun gift or just, you know, it's just something to play around the holiday season. Oh, and it's green, which is really cute. Okay. And I, of course, am partial to the color green. I do love it myself. Good old Frank Sinatra. Oh, yes. Classic. Look at this condition in this like brand new, freaking awesome. Um, I find myself really listening to a lot of jazz when it gets like cooler weather, like the fall um, and the winter. I don't know why. Oh, well, it's in our goodies here. All right. And then if you guys like a little bit more harder music, a little more punky vibes, we got the Vandals. So, you know, like we got a lot of variety here. It's only the beginning. And then... We have Sleep, which is a stoner, heavy, hard rock, metal vibes, which is a really fun combination. You guys can have a really good night with this. Or day, have some friends over, put it on. Really awesome. The album cover is really cool. I like that. It's like really trippy. And the back too is really cool. It's very like vintage, like 70s vibes to me. All right. Oh, but wait, there's more. We got one of mine and Shelly's favorite, Depeche Mode. Uh, the band itself is just very nostalgic for Shelly and I because Depeche Mode got us through some hard times. This is a really awesome album. If you go to Good Vibrations Boutique, um, I did write up a little history about this album and what the artist felt about it, the writers, everything. And it's a really interesting story behind it. So I definitely advise you guys to just check it out because it's so interesting, especially if you're a Depeche Mode fan. All right. Oh yeah. Shelly likes this one a lot. So this one is more, would you say like, like punk rock kind of vibes? Punk, then like surf. surf. Yeah, so really fun combination. Great to play when you have friends over, just chilling by yourself, feeling those vibes. All right. I believe the next one, and we have only a few of these, so I would buy them up while we still have them. Um, oh, some surf music, yes. How can you not want to just come home, chill out, and listen to some awesome surf music? Um, the album's really cute too. Okay, ooh, some more, like just roll, chill, kind of surf music. The album cover's really cute, especially you guys are into Lucha, they have those Lucha masks on. Just like cool, like hot rod vibes. It's really cute. And look at this guy, ah, I like that. Ah, that's what he's saying. <laughs> All right, put it back to its home. And I believe that will do it for our current record collection. All right. And back to Shelly. Personal Jesus, balls deep. He's into the personal Jesus. Yeah. Something that I don't know if you guys are aware of, but in my merchandise store, you might see this photo and you might think it's a photo, but it's actually a card. I did um, this show in Canada and it's called Demand Lucha and they have like little fun facts on the back and these are really cute. I have a decent amount, but it's still kind of limited. So I just wanted to throw those out there since... Um, 
we were showing the Lucha uh, artwork over there. That is my sister. I have not, Danielle, heard of um, Hailstorm or Within Temptation. Okay. Oh, this was another one that went for Jeremy. So two, two for. Next we have Ben. And Ben wants number four. I guess Ben just wants it signed. I can do that. And Ben, I'm going to email you if you end up watching this, if you're in the chat room or uh, you watch this replay. You made an order a long time ago. And you were supposed to send me one of your items for me to sign and you never sent it. Ben. Thanks, Balls Deep. You never saw me in Lucha Underground because they never hired me. Isn't that sad? Let's go to Daydream. I wanted to work there really bad before I retired. Like, really, really bad. And I did a couple things, like... Um, I was a bartender once when they had two wrestlers in a fight scene and when they had to do some lighting for um, getting ready to film a new season, I was like a stand in for that, but they never hired me. I, it wasn't meant to be as much as it stings my soul that I didn't get to like be on the active roster with them. And the thing is, is going back to little Cholo, oh, hey, what was his name on there? Um, oh, what was little Cholo's name on there? I saw a movie you were in recently in uh, Middle of the Night. Oh, yeah, Middle of the Night. That was fun. I loved that gig. I got to play a game or, um, reality show host and I did really good <laughs> if I don't stay so myself what the hell was little Cholo's name in Lucha Underground Mr. Cisco and he was in a faction with uh, Ricky Reyes oh, what was his name on there but they were in a faction and Ricky Reyes I always give credit. He's my Mr. Miyagi of wrestling. He was my first official trainer. I learned so much from him. Oh, he's so good. And then little Cholo, I got to work with a lot when I was doing WPW and I was just doing my Lucha years. So I thought it'd be really cool if before I retired, I got to manage their team because like they, it's like kind of, starting at the basics from the beginning. And I thought it'd be a really cool full circle of my wrestling career. I pitched it, but it just didn't happen. It wasn't meant to be, but that's why it stings so much. My day's going pretty well. Gabriel Mar Martinez, are you my cousin? But yeah, the middle of the night, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, the crew. Thank you, Johnny. Um, it was really awesome. Like I really embodied the reality show host vibes because I used to watch a lot of reality shows back in the day. I way back when Survivor was newer, I used to watch Survivor. Do you guys remember the Joe Schmo show with Ralph Garman? That was such a good show because if you haven't seen it, long story short, uh, on the Joe Schmo show, it was a bunch of actors and one legit reality show contestant. And everyone knew that the show was fake except the one guy. And they like created drama and all of this. And at the end, that's when they revealed to him, like in the last episode, that it was all fake. It was like not a reality show. 
it was just really a show about him being this contestant who thought the show was real. It was really good. Blind date was good, strawberry soda. Um, so yeah, I really, I really, I remember specifically using Ralph Garman as my inspiration for um, middle of the night. Shout out to Ralph Garman. All right, so we got a couple more pre-orders here. Again, if you'd like to place an order, go to Good Vibrations Boutique. And even if we're done with this live stream or the signing and you want to order it, I can still sign them for you today and send it on off tomorrow. Or if you want to go during the week, pick poke around, that's fine too. All right, Alberto. Let's see, number 10. Okay. Thank you for sexy times. That's what he wants me to write. Um, not at all, micro. Same price. Was Brett Hart handsome in his prime? Yeah, I guess so. I have a dumb question. Is LAX good at people to hang out? While I was in TNA, I thought so. But I don't talk to either of them anymore. Hernandez openly talks crap about me, but whatever. Long story short, the last time I performed with them, which was maybe a year or two before I uh, retired, I told them that I would never perform with Hernandez ever again because of how he the things he was saying behind my back and couldn't say it to my face. All right, let's get this done for Alberto. Oh, Albert. <laughs> it says Alberto on his return or in the like information, but he wants me to write to Albert, but I like Alberto. There we go. Oh, it's fine, Danielle. I had a really good time um, being not only just Salinas, but being at LAX. So, you know, sometimes good times and memories have to come to an end. That's all. So I'm just grateful that I had so much fun, like not just on camera, but off camera as well during that time. No one has ordered a spicy inscription, Gabriel. <laughs> All right. We have the one and only Big Time Bry. He got my Dangerous Divas DVD. And on here, you can see me versus Bobcat, Daphne, Francine, Lacey, and Rain. I shot this so many years ago for High Spots. And it was such a cool shoot because I was working with a bunch of really cool girls. But like after like it's like we had a big old slumber party it was just a great time and then when you order this dvd the actual dvd itself also has like the photo there Yeah, it's like warm at first.
There you go, big time. Yes, rest in peace, Daphne. Dude, Shiv, is that it? Why? 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 We're all here having a good time and you gotta be weird. Hey, Jesse S, how are you doing? What are some of my hobbies? Well, I live the tiki lifestyle. I like going to tiki bars. I like collecting tiki things. I like going to tiki events. Um, I wish there was more car shows that I've been going to, but I haven't really. I like car shows too. Um, I don't know. Is it a hobby that I like happy hour and going out to like eat? I love that. Like it is kind of like a hobby because it's not like some people, they just do it once in a while. We're like, we go out a lot. So there's that. Um, that's my job, though. Danielle said creating, but that's my job. It's my job. It's all my job. It's a hobbies. My job. Um, even though I haven't gone on a hike in a while, I love hikes. <gasps> you know what my hobby is? I love making water for hummingbirds. We have hummingbird feeders. I love tending to the grass and the plants. I love it. It brings me so much joy. Uh, music is a hobby, I guess. We always have music playing. We're all into music here. I like going to concerts. Um, yeah, I kick it with my dog, Minnie. That's, uh, is that a hobby? <laughs> it's more like my lifestyle. Randall, I love eating. Yeah, me too. I wanted a different item autograph. Thank you again. A different one. Let me see that big time bra. I thought that was you ordered the DVD. Doesn't it say big, the DVD? Let me see. It says you ordered the DVD. What did you mean to order? Oh, you said you got lots of D. Wait, I wanted a different item autograph. Thank you again. Wait, what? I'm so confused. You said you got the DVD because you got pictures, but then you said you wanted a different item autograph. I don't understand. I don't understand. What do you mean? Yes, yay, many. Your hobbies are watching me growing weed and making beets. Awesome. I'm actually growing right now. It should be ready next month. I'm very excited about it. I haven't grown in a really long time. I guess cannabis and that whole culture is kind of like a, a hobby, I guess. And the reason why I say hobby is because I like everything like about it besides just ingesting it. None of us will ever hear thank you. I'm sorry. And I love you enough. What? None of us will ever hear, thank you. I'm sorry, and I love you enough, so I please know I appreciate you. I'm sorry for any hardship put upon you, and that you are loved, and that goes for everyone. None of us will ever hear, thank you. What does that mean? I just placed my order. Okay. Let's see. All right, we got Steven, and he wants number 18. I'll just do that right now since you're here. All right, Steven. Okay, great. Steven, I have you here. Did you want me to write... Okay, you put... Okay, you already put... Thank you. You already put, put Love Shelly. Okay, great. makes it easy.
Now you now your comment makes sense about none of us here. Thank you. Now I understand. <laughs> uh, we'll have to print his uh, receipt after since I just got it. Well, thanks. That positive vibes to you, Stephen. That's very kind of you. Let's just see here. It makes me so sad that I can't see anything on Twitter except that I'm live. Oh, now I see. I see two comments, but I still don't see Danielle's comments. It's so freaking weird. I don't know. Maybe they'll show up after I'm done uh, broadcasting or whatever here. What is my favorite tattoo? Well, I guess I'm going to have to say the one I got for Danielle Martinez, my sister. It's really cute. It's a Day of the Dead inspired. You can see it. <laughs> it says pumpkin on it because growing up, Danielle's nickname in our family was pumpkin. And when I say nickname, there's people who do not, I repeat, do not to this day call her Danielle. They call her Punkin. Even, even though she has multiple times said as she grew older, she wanted to be referred to as Danielle. And it's so funny because <laughs> even our mom, when she gets mad at Danielle, she'd be like, thanks a lot, Punkin. <laughs> she means it, man. And said, thanks a lot, Danielle. Punkin. <laughs> and it's not pumpkin it's pumpkin a pumpkin <laughs> hey what's up dan the man we have three dans three two, two dan the mans and one dan dan and then two danielles big time says i call her green venus a lot of people call her that too or venus just venus we both look alike. We are. We're the same, but different. A pumpkin. <laughs> Balls Deep says, hey, pumpkin, but it's punk. Punkin. And sometimes they call her punk. Yeah. Hey, punk. <laughs> I am excited that you got to see your autograph live too. S. McKay. Mrs. McKay. Not yet, you're Mrs. McKay. It's a movie. Danielle knows. Oh, and blessings to you. Oh, Danielle actually goes by Danny as well. People at her work usually call her Danny. That's what Danielle Wolf said. Oh, okay. She says, You can call me Danny. I don't mind. And then on our podcast that we have, Martina's Girls Productions.com, you can see it. Um, we call her Danny California. Or. Dazzling Danielle. Okay. Depends on how I feel. <laughs> Depends on how I feel. All right. And now we have a Secret Society exclusive print from good old Jose. And... He wanted these two okay so the members only print that's at shelly's or join shelly secret society.com you can go there that's my exclusive fan club um i have patreon option only fans options and a main site which is shelly martin or shelly secret society.com if you just go to join shelly secret society.com they're all listed there um that's these prints are exclusive so he ordered this one and this one both with KISS prints. Hmm, what should I put on this? He said to put whatever I want.
white. What color should I go? I guess white would quite. Does it go good on that color? Let's see. I think so. When I went to like that, I saw a white spew go. <laughs> I hope I didn't get any photos. All right. So he wants a kiss print on both these. Balls deep. You redeemed yourself and now you're being a chode again. Use some content of try bikini haul. What are you talking about? You got your own website? Douglas, I just talked about that. I've been doing sites for a long ass time. Right now, show us what you're wearing so we can rub it and make it hard. You would never, ever say that to my face. It's so interesting, these little keyboard warriors. So dumb. At least Balls Deep's keeping it PG-13, dude. Shiv over here talks about navels and trampling people and blah, blah, blah. like, get the F out of here, dude. And it's always the people like that, that like, you're why I don't have the foot club. You're why I don't offer certain things. It's cheap ass. You just want to be on your computer and run your little mouth because you don't have the balls to say it to my face. Kiss number one. Kiss number two. You know, if Balls Deep is calling you a weirdo, <laughs> need I say more? Need I say more? See, you redeemed yourself, Balls Deep. Thank you. I, we are rooting for Balls Deep. I appreciate that, Danielle. All right, well, we're going to have... The other Danielle, come on here and show us some more awesome stuff that we have on Good Vibrations Boutique. Jack Cam. I'm proud of you, Balls Deep. Hello again. Just sitting on the sidelines watching all the fun and apparently the drama go down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, it's so funny because Shelly has been doing live streams for so long and I join her on occasion and the comments that you get is just, sometimes we've gone like head to head with people like, okay. Or, um, the famous one, um, spread your bobs, show bobs, show bobs. I don't can't have any bobs. Can't even spell boobs right. <laughs> can't even spell boobs Over, right. Not just one time. <laughs> Many times. Many Same times. Person. Many times. But you know what? To this day, what lives in infamy is corn in the pocket. We made a song about it and everything. Corn in the pocket. Corn in the pocket. No, <laughs> These silly people. Um, but anyways, I have some more fun things to show you, and they have little stories. So let me grab them. All right. <laughs> So here we go. All right. I'm going to start with the juiciest. Uh oh, you don't have your mini. She hears this, she thinks it's food. Um, this purse is a genuine Betsy Johnson purse, okay? 
like for purse people, like this is amazing. It is so unique. I can't even find the same replica. This was given to me, gosh, back in like probably 2007 in incredible condition. And there's even the Betsy Johnson. Like I, I know the person who bought this for me, it was an ex-boyfriend um, who was trying to buy me off with his money. So he did spend good money on this purse and I did wear it. It's very lightly worn. Um, I think it's really cute because it's green, one of my favorite colors and it's cow print and there's jewels and a bow. Like it is so freaking unique, but I made a decision. Um, gosh, I don't know how many years it's been that, um, I don't eat meat. I do eat fish and I will eat eggs and cheese but um this is made from real cow's hair and i just it's something that is just not in alignment to my lifestyle um so i've been trying to sell this purse and it's like a really i could probably get way more money for this than i'm actually asking for it especially since we're doing the 20 percent off today if you guys want to impress a gal or Danny out there, you want to treat yourself. This is like, I wish it wasn't made out of real cow hair because I would keep it. Look at it, it goes perfect with my outfit. I would totally wear it today. Like I do love this purse and I really want it to find a good home. So also good vibrations boutique. Awesome. All right. And then we have Shelly and I love putting things in our hair. I have a headband on today. Um, it, it doesn't matter if it's a Tuesday or a Sunday brunch, we're gonna have something in our hair. And usually it's a flower. And so we have these cute little flowers. Ooh, this matches great with my outfit. Um, you know, and it has the little clippy, so it makes it real easy to put it in your hair. Here, I'll just even demonstrate. I could put it right on my headband. Like, oh my gosh, come on. Just a little pop of color makes a day so different. I know um, I work in uh, the veterinary industry and I wear scrubs all day. And so it's usually like monochromatic. Everybody always comments when I have just like a little flower, you know, people are stressed out about their pets. They're going through some stuff and just to add that little brightness and happiness in the day, who doesn't love that? So these flowers are also on Good Vibrations Boutique and we have them in multiple colors and then maybe something just more simple. And then we also, for all you vampires out there, we have a copy of Dracula. Yes. It, it smells good. If you guys love books, this, oh, look at how beautiful they got the golden pages. I know you can see that. Yes. And I'm all about a worn in book. This just has vibes. It has character. This is something that you just feel just looking at it and then you dive in and can read it. We're going to get into some rainy weather here in a couple months. So snuggling up with a book. Amazing. And then we also are starting to carry some animal apparel and accessories. We are huge animal people here. My gosh. Um, right now we're currently catering towards dog owners. Um, we will expand later, but we have this unused Kiss Me I'm Irish little dress that is so cute. I don't even know if I should open the packaging because like, I just, I want to keep it fresh. So super cute and sparkly little tutu and then we also have these collars these dog collars that are really cute you see here we got the pink one and then we got the blue one here so you can see all the little sparkle bedazzle uh, never worn incredible condition your doggy will be styling I know Shelly and I like to match our dog we're crazy like that maybe you are too but yeah so good vibrations man we just have a variety of things and it's only going to continue to grow so again don't forget take advantage of that 20 percent off i would if i were you and then give me a good home i deserve a good home please hey guys you know what's funny? It's okay. You know what's funny is 
Okay. Ever since I was a girl, I make this weird face sometimes. <laughs> I don't mean to, and often it's captured in photos. And I just look like goofy. I have this weird, goofy smile. And like when I got into my adult, young adult years, I'd make fun of it by going, hey guys. And it's so funny because now with social media, almost every single creator out there starts off their videos with, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> and it's funny because I wish I had a, um, like a photo to show you of like my hey guys face, but I'm making, yeah, kind of. No. Yeah, I was real medicated. <laughs> What's funny is even with, like going back to that, there's pictures of me as a little girl, which there's no way I had any cannabis in me and I look like I was medicated. It's funny. But like, hey guys, <laughs> I wish I had an example for you. Hey, Germany. Schultz. Lucy is my favorite Dracula bride. Did I say that already? I think so. Pink is Danielle's color. Danielle Wolf. Good vibrations. Marky Mark voice. See, balls deep. You redeemed yourself. Let's keep it that way. Dan the man says that we're a good um, duo. Best duo ever, actually. With, cl with claps. Um, oh my gosh. Let me show you. I think I do have this on here. Danielle and I recently did a shoot. Or we do videos as Wonder Shelly and Wonder Girl. Here's a photo. I put this on my Instagram. You might have seen it for uh, National Dog Day. We kept trying to take a damn picture with Minnie. That's why she's a little blurry, very, if you see her face, she's very upset. When we get pictures of her, she comes out really nice, but she just doesn't want to be on camera. And this is us with Max Frost Productions, a little wind in our hair. I can see you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have some close-ups here of some of the photos one last time. Come on, you guys. Look at this picture of me and Minnie. It's choice. Yeah. That one. That's cute. Of course, members only, if you're a member. This is one of my favorites. That's nice. That's a good Valentine's Day look. Another members only. Old school. That, I'll get into the story about that in a second, but that was my idea. That was my idea, okay? I like that shoot. I feel like Paris Hilton over here. That's hot. That's hot. It's just like so monotone and not enthusiastic at all, but it's hot. So the store, are we taking another shot? Yeah. Okay, good. hold on. Let me cue this photo up. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Nothing like a nice, cool, refreshing Coke Zero. So this photo, let's talk about it. So when I was in WWE for my 15 minutes of fame, I told them that it'd be really cool if we did a photo shoot in a coffin. Being that I was a complete nobody and new to the roster, I didn't think anyone would take me serious. And the next TV day, the um, props department had a coffin for me. And even though I look very seductive, very vampire-esque, I was scared out of my mind to get into that coffin. Like, I, I thought it was such a cool idea. And then the first photo that I went in there to take um, the photos with, which I don't have queued up, but it's like I'm lying down in there. I felt so weird. Going back to my death anxiety, I felt so uncomfortable. I had to get through it and just pretend it didn't bother me, but it felt freaking creepy. Especially, like, let's look at that photo again. It's like this 
ugly, where you go? Ugly brown coffin. Like it looks like from the eighties, like, Ooh, it had vibes. And it's so funny because, um, the Brooklyn brawler, when I was in WWE at that time, he was an agent and he was kind of like overseeing the photo shoot when I was doing it. And before, I can't remember if it was before I started shooting or right after, it was either before or after, he got in there and had someone with his cell phone take a picture and he sent it to his wife. <laughs> I can't imagine how she must have felt like not expecting that. So I thought that was a really good rib, brother. Do you lay in the coffin and have them shut the door? Hell no. I should auction a date. Nah. Coke Zero is a good chaser. I do have my vampire teeth, but I misplaced them. That's why I don't have them today. I got to find them because I have a shoot tomorrow. And um, one of the outfits that they want me to wear is my aerial outfit. And so I got it. I have some backup ones. I just had to remold them. But yeah. The dog looks scared. <laughs> She's upset more than anything. Yeah, she punches that many. Will you be checking out the new Wednesday series on Netflix? What's the new Wednesday series? Like Wednesday Adams? You should be Power Girl next time. Oh. Look forward to watching the DVD. You know, I want to watch it. I haven't seen it. Like, I lived it, but I've never, the only time I ever saw like clips of it is rest in peace, Daphne. Um, a couple years ago, she was watching it and she tagged me in her Instagram post of her watching it. So I definitely got to watch it. Hey guys, now trending, right? <laughs> hey guys. And then the best is when you're sad. Hey guys. <laughs> it's kind of like Ross. Hi. What's is my favorite TV show to binge watch right now? I kind of talked about that earlier. You weren't in the chat room. I watch reruns because here's the deal. When it's time for me to watch TV, which is typically when I'm eating lunch and then after all my work is done in the uh, late afternoon, early evening, I want to like watch something that's comforting that I know is going to entertain me, usually make me laugh. So that's where I go to my go-tos. And um, a lot of those go-tos, as I mentioned earlier, is like Seinfeld, The Simpsons, Futurama, Young Sheldon, Big Bang Theory, um, Office. Just to name a few. I named a whole bunch of them earlier, but that's what I like to watch. Um, Cobra Kai, I wanted to watch it, but I just never got around to it. I love Karate Kid 1 and 2. 3 is all right. I just watched all three of them. Like, they're like playing all the time. Excuse me. Spinguli, yes. That's a new show. Kind of. Um, tune in with me in the mornings when I have my coffee. Um, so, yeah. Do they let you keep some of your Selena's and Ariel clothes? Keep them? I had to buy them and supply them myself. Nobody bought me anything. It doesn't work that way. People, When you see people... Um, wrestlers on television maybe they had it made like with wwe or whatever company they're with but they had to buy it like it's not like they just say here's your wardrobe for today hello newman uh tim burton is making a wednesday adam show oh i have no idea i canceled my netflix i'm gonna get it again next month though for the monsters reboot which i do not have high hopes for I'm open. I did a whole video series on it. Not series, but two videos uh, on my YouTube channel. So you want to check that out. You just go on there. Um, check it out. It's one where I tell Rob Zombie, someone needs to tell him that it's okay that he puts somebody else other than his wife as the main character. And then I do a Q&A of like people, or not really Q&A, but comments, replying to comments that people made on that. Some people got real upset and I was explaining to them like, dude, I'm not saying that Sherry Moon 
sucks. It's just not everybody's good at every character, you know? Okay, as we wrap things up here, let's change this music. Let's see here. What's this rock? This just says rock. Very generic. We'll, let, we'll, we'll end it with this. We'll keep the song on. Real generic. Sometimes generic is nice and fun. I remember when Sandman hit you with the can Kano stick in ECW. Your reaction was legendary. Any story behind that? He really hit me hard. And so <laughs> that was real. <laughs> it hurt. But no. Um, and I'm fine with it. Like, I'm, I rather him hit me as hard as he did than not hit me hard because it helped me have a really cool reaction to it. So, yeah, that was a legit reaction. <laughs> Svengoolie is the reason I got Dracula's Bride. Awesome! I love hearing that. Like, we are so, like, about Svengoolie here. He's my friend. Excuse me, our friend. Aww. Our friend. Um... Over here where my desk is, I have his doll next to Los Hermanas Martinez artwork by Scott Blair. On our wall over there by our TV, we have a poster, Berwin. Um, we also have his little action figure over there hanging out with Alvira. We have his shirts. He came up with a really cute new shirt that I want to get. Um, so yeah, all about the Svengoolie, support him. I discovered him years ago and then it was cool because he is a fan of wrestling so he already knew who i was and was following me and i was like wait what because i kind of stumbled upon it when i was flipping the channels i was like what's this this is freaking awesome and i've been hooked ever since then and we've developed a friendship um so yeah i'm all about the Svengooli. like i and then to learn about the original Svengooli, like he literally looks like metal jesus who's the person i've been with for six and a half years so that makes me excited so i like to make up little rumors online saying that we used to have a thing back in the day me and the original spinguli <laughs> hey elroy how's it going what is my favorite simpsons treehouse of horror episode <sighs> i don't know I know because I'm a vampire, people typically think that I'm just like all about Halloween, which I'm not. Halloween's lame. Sorry to break it to you. Um, I dress like this every day. Um, so the Treehouse of Horrors, sometimes they creep me out. I don't like them. <laughs> you know? Does the wrestling company provide requirements for the wardrobe you buy? Like what happens if you buy gear and they think it's not appropriate for your character? I'm not sure. Cause that's never happened to me. And, um, I never overheard anyone talk about that for them. So I'm not quite sure on that. Sorry, micro. Funny story, I watched it and fell asleep with the actress in the bedroom playing with her hair. Then my dad got a mag from movie something, and then when Hammer Horror includes Dracula's Bride. What? <laughs> what? When you were a fan, who was your favorite wrestler? Um... I liked The Rock a lot back in the day. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, Lita, The Hardy Boys. Christian and Edge. Um, Billy Gunn. Oh, I loved Kurt Angle. Um... I'm trying to think of the people who, like, I just was... The Big Show. I loved The Big Show. Um, see, I was very Attitude Era. That was, like, my SH right there. Very... Put the hand emoji up if you were an Attitude Era person. I'd like to see how many Attitude Era people we have. Um, I'm trying to think... 
I loved Eddie Guerrero. Right to Censor, I love them too. Um, trying to think who else, like I was really like, yeah. That's just to name a few. I'm sure there's some that I'm missing, but only one attitude era person or two attitude era people here. Is there anyone from the business that you're very close with? Um, I guess you would say Francine, um, Crystal Marshall, Cherry. I liked China a lot. She sure was. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of who else. Yeah, now we got some more Attitude Era people. Um, oh, he wasn't Attitude Era. Honky Tonk Man. I love Honky Tonk Man, but he wasn't in the Attitude Era. I'm cool. I'm cocky. I'm bad. Val Venus. Oh, I loved Val Venus. Hello, ladies. <laughs> what metal bands are your top five? The System of a Down Count. They're, are they metal? Um, I love I love Sleep, which we had that album. Um, Iron Maiden. Uh, I'm trying to think of like bands I get real excited. About, like yeah. Um, metal. I'm trying to keep it in the metal genre. System of the Down is really our, mine and Danielle's SH. Like, I really love System of the Down. Um,. I like some Metallica songs. I'm not really into them. Uh, who else? I guess I just have the three that come to mind right away. I'm trying to think. I know there's got to be some other wrestlers that I really loved back in the day. I think that's a good list, though. Wash hands. What? Did Awesome Kong hurt you bad? She didn't hurt me at all. What are you talking about? My scary moment of Undertaker. His Ministry of Darkness. I used to like the Undertaker a lot, actually. <gasps> Gold Dust. Me and Danielle loved Gold Dust. Sure did. Why, why did you think, Douglas, that Kong hurt me? I wish we could have had a real match instead of just me being squashed. Shelly the Squasher Martinez. <laughs> Not that I squash people, but I get squashed, which is fine. Rock versus Stone Cold was the best rivalry. They did have a good one. Oh, going back to the question way earlier about watching wrestling, I guess the last time I really watched wrestling was Lucha Underground. It's a great show. Great show. It's so sad that they're no longer. I mean, I heard rumors that, like, it started off really good, and then, like, the talent kind of got the short end of the stick, which sucks. But, oh. Chimichanga, you haven't said anything in a long time. <laughs> Did you leave and then come back just now? Chimmy. Now I want a Chimichanga. This is so generic, this music. <laughs> Stone Cold versus McMahon was my favorite. Remember when McMahon wrestled God? <laughs> oh my God. Would you wrestle on Lingerie Wrestling League? No. Are those the same people that did uh, Lingerie Championship 
lingerie fighting championship. I did some stuff with them, but then I realized it wasn't for me anymore. No, I don't like how those people do business. I just saw Kurt Angle last week, the same night I went to Dynamite. Oh, cool. It would be a good ring entrance, this song. <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> or someone's highlight reel of wrestling. You have a great day too, Elroy. I hope you have a good rest of your day at work. Triple H. I was never into Triple H. Dude, have you guys seen <laughs> William Shatner singing, singing. <laughs> the WWE entrances? Oh my gosh, it's so good. I wish I could show it on here on YouTube. I don't know if I'll get in trouble. Well, they have this thing if you like are reviewing something, then it's okay. <laughs> Nicole Bass, little sweetheart. You guys. <laughs> I don't want this video to get taken down from YouTube. Look on YouTube. William Shatner WWE entrance music. Booyaka, booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> it's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, I don't want to get flagged. Oh my god. You guys, you have to look up on YouTube. William Shatner, WWE Music um, Entrances. You're welcome. Especially his face when he does Triple H's music. <laughs> it's so classic. Everyone deserves to be shat on every now and then. So you should check it out. Well, I'm about to wrap things up here. Again, if you want to order any of the photos, go to goodvibrationsboutique.com. You can order on there. As long as you order by like tomorrow morning, they'll go out tomorrow. So go check it out. But tomorrow the sale ends. So you got to order today. Use that discount code FANGS and you'll save 20% off your order. Or did he do the HPK song? I think he did. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I'm just, I'm a boy toy. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Who was the best person to hang out with backstage? In which company? I'm smoking one for you, Shelly. Thanks. I wish I was there to smoke it with you. Or I wish I could smoke it right now. Will we get tracking info from the order? Yes, you'll get tracking info for the orders. What would be your dream tag team match? Who would your partner and opponents be? Could be anyone, dead or alive, retired or current. I think the who I think would make a great team with me is Scarlett Bardot, me and her, um, against Beth Phoenix and Mickey James. I think that'd be a good match. You know who else I've always wanted to either team with or wrestle against is um, I'm thinking of her real name. Shoot. Soraya Knight. Sarah Knight. Um, Paige's mom. Who's the best person to hang out backstage in WWE and TNA? a good question well i'll tell you who i hung out with and i had fun i did hang out with lax backstage at tna um so cal hung out with backstage at tna and then in wwe i was hanging out with melina um or cherry um so yeah, I mean, there you go. You versus Jacqueline would have been fire if you were around during that time. I actually did wrestle her in TNA. What about Lita? Hmm. 
You and Melina, the spicy Latinas. Shelly, you're very beautiful. Thanks for the content. Do you ever live on the East Coast? I guess the closest I've ever lived in the East Coast was Kentucky, which is not the East Coast. But that was like as close as I got. ECW was far. It was. It was a good time during that revamp. Cherry did have a good gimmick. So cute. So cute. And she did it so well. Make sure to follow her. My light went off. <laughs> Make sure to follow her on uh, social media. I think it's just dead. I know. It's hot. I can't get cool. All right, you guys. This is your last chance to either order or get your last minute questions and comments in. Because I'm going to get out of here. Hungry. Is Sabu still commentating? I had no idea he was commentating. I have no idea what Sabu's up to. I don't keep in touch with him. All right, Danielle wants to show you something real quick. Hold on, let me change this music. Do I have an Instagram? Yes, Shelly from Kelly4. All right, Danielle's going to show you a couple things real quick. BRB. Hi. <laughs> so with all this wrestling talk, I was just like, I really need to show you guys this. We have an exclusive custom cut shirt. We only have one. Check it out. Daniel Bryan, respect the beard, custom shirt. Just one again. So I thought you guys would be very interested in this. It's more like a girl cut. It, it has more of a girl cut, but honestly, I've seen people who, I think it's a good idea, um, who will put t-shirts in a frame and just put it on the wall, which I think is awesome. And this is actually really cool artwork if you wanted to do that. And then, for you ladies out there who are all about the kimono life. I love this and I've actually gone out to like a nighttime happy hour wearing black leggings and a cute little black tank top with this and I passed it off as clothes and it totally can. It can be a robe that you wear around the house feeling good or literally go out. And this is not the first time I've gone out in my pajamas, but you make it fancy. You put some jewelry, um, have a cute little outfit, some cute shoes. I won't tell your secret. And we have it on Good Vibrations Boutique in a different color. We have the dark blue right here, but we actually have the light blue version. And again, only one in stock. So get that 20% off. Get it. It is... I get a lot of compliments on it too. And I'm just like, little do you know, it's actually a robe. <laughs> so I just really want to share that with you guys really quickly um, because I feel like these things are going to sell really quickly. So I might as well get it done today. And I hope you guys are having a great Sunday fun day and have fun with us today. I have fun. Whoever made the Daniel shirt gets like I made it. That used to be my shirt. And then I cut it up like that. But now I'm having it for sale. So there you go. So hey, if you're one of those people that want worn items, you can also get that because that used to legit be my shirt. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. I appreciate that. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you, like as Danielle said, have a great Sunday fun day. Make sure to check out goodvibrationsboutique.com. You can also follow Good Vibrations Boutique on Instagram. And you can follow Danielle on there, Green Venus 10, as well as Twitter. I am on YouTube. I'm on Twitter as Shelly from Kelly. Shelly from Kelly, the number four on Instagram because they took, off, took my original one away. Sucks. One more question. What is it? Thanks, Dash. What about video chats?
Clarity, what's up? We said one more question. I liked LAX with Hector Guerrero. Yeah, he added a good vibe to it. I think it was a good group. And to you, Fred. Jesse, you should know this. I posted recently on the Secret Society about that. I'm assuming Clarity is text or typing right now. I'll give you a few more seconds. So I'm hungry. You too, Emmanuel. Aw, oh, thank you, S. McKay. Oh, I love Megan Jones. She is my homegirl. I like working with her. We work really well together. I just can't say enough good things about her. You too, D. Moto. Moton. Moton? D. Moton? I hope I said that right. All right, you guys, I got to get out of here. Talk to you soon. Adios.